Hello there YouTube people, welcome Biggity back, I bet you are beautiful, fantastic as always. And today I want to talk a little bit about importing footage for the purpose of rotoscoping or just animating over a video. And you may want to do it with OpenTunes but you don't really know how because it's a little bit tricky. So, how do we do it? Let's begin. Most software can render a file name 000 one or 001 or whatever dot png or dot jpeg in an image sequence format so you can render it in your video editor or whatever you're using and you can import it into open tunes but i didn't have so much luck with it because whenever i try to import something like an image sequence to open tunes it didn't really like the idea and crashed so Maybe it's my version 1.0.2, maybe they will fix it. For now, it's not working. Again, it's not working for me. It may work for you. Try it. Now, I had to look for a different file so OpenTunes will like it. I just used the .avi file. If you don't know how to convert your video file to AVI, if it's MP4 or something like that, because OpenTunes don't like MP4, and I didn't try a quicktime.mov but it may work try it if it's not i know that avi works so try work with avi okay now let me tell you how you convert it you can render in your video editor or whatever you're using to avi if you don't have a way to convert your file you can try a software name format factory which is i think it's free i, I believe it's free it's a freeware and you convert to many kind of files google it format factory now there are many other ways i don't know i can't recommend you how to do it if you can just render your original file in avi it will be perfect and again maybe but only maybe it will be improved and we will be able to import mp4 which is the most common file for now let me show you how i do it real quick and what i can do so you get the idea first let me grab the file.avi to the column in the first frame here it is let's get rid of this one and now before you start working on it you probably want to play so it will render the preview to the ram that's how you can work faster once it's done this should be green Okay, so it works. And now we can draw over it. We can rotoscope, we can just add effects, we can do whatever you want. I recommend you to lock this layer while you're animating so you won't draw over it by accident. Okay. Now we can do stuff like, I don't know. Wow, this is so amazing. Like, wow. You know what? Let's make it like. Let's make. You know. An onion skin. Okay. So we can see what we are doing. Wow, it's so impressive. I, I don't know. I'm amazed. I don't know how to. Wow. Come on. You didn't see such an amazing effect. You, you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, now let's check it out. Play. Let's get rid of the onion skin. Wow, this is so impressive. Uh, not really. Yeah, I know, you want to see something better than just doodle around. So let me just make some kind of effects or something real quick
Well, now you know how to import and animate or rotoscope over a real footage. So I hope you're gonna do some really awesome stuff. Meanwhile, see you later, alligator. Bye.